Hello and welcome to The Gadget Show. Now, think on this. Everything we use, everything we buy, everything we see has been designed by someone somewhere. Design is the one feature shared by all products in the shops. But design isn't just about the way that something looks. It's about what it does and how it does what it does and how you interact with it. And in the ultra-competitive world of gadgets, design is everything. But what does it take to design a successful gadget? Well, this week, Susie and I were challenged to switch from being gadget testers to gadget creators. Yeah, our task was to design our own gadget from scratch. And, well, it was as simple and as daunting as that. So, our stalls were set out. I was going down the functionality route. Yeah, and I wanted to design something that was really gorgeous and desirable. Yeah, but for the next stage of our challenge, things were about to get very serious because we both had to come up with an idea each and get prototypes made. And at the end of the show, we're going to go head-to-head -head and pitch our ideas to some of the biggest names in the design industry to see which one's best. Yeah, I mean, make no mistake, right now, we, know, we don't know which one is the winner. OK, that's going to come later on in the programme. You've got to stay tuned for that. Uh, because you'll find out at exactly the same time we do. Yeah, but right now, it's time for a break. Now, it's time to return to this week's main challenge. And what a challenge it was. Yeah, we had to design our own gadgets completely from scratch. I'd already decided that I wanted to create something beautiful. Yeah, whereas I was going down the functionality practical route, the only problem was coming up with an idea for a gadget. Luckily, design isn't just about sitting in a room with a piece of paper waiting to be inspired, though. You need to take a more methodical and thorough approach. I headed to the shops to get some inspiration. While I headed home to ponder. With a whole world full of potential gadgets to design, we had to narrow down the field a bit. I was looking for something I could improve, something that would inspire me. To be perfectly honest with you, just something I could take apart. <laughs> the problem I was having was that so much time, effort and money has gone into designing all the obvious gadgets that there was very little room to improve them. Not mobile phones, not TVs and definitely not MP3 players. I wouldn't dare compete against the iPod. Whatever I came up with needed to be innovative, aesthetic and unobtrusive. Three principles of good design. Then it hit me. Box, 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 box. Box. All the cameras I could see were very samey. Not one of them set the world alight visually. None of them make me feel really excited. None of them jump off the shelf and make me want to own them. I mean, imagine if Apple or someone like Apple designed a camera. That, that is the level that I'm going for. The digital camera market is worth £900 million. Perfect to tap into. But to do it, I was going to need some help. And I knew just the place to go to. Right, I've got the idea, and it's come from these, these batteries. Actually, they're not normal batteries, they're USB. So you whack them in the side of your laptop and you charge them up. What I want to do is do something interesting with the USB device. These USB cell batteries made me think about the wider world of USB and memory sticks. It's predicted that 750 million USB memory drives will be sold in 2009. That's a lot of people storing a lot of data on these portable devices. At the moment, though, they're all too easily dropped or forgotten about, and that's the issue I wanted to address. I wanted to make them truly functional by getting rid of all the unnecessary casing, to make them even smaller and attaching them to a badge so they wouldn't get lost. It's durable, uh, it's useful, and it's definitely simple. Maybe too simple. To get help with my design, I called on the experts at Coventa. Coventa have developed a wide range of products from concept cars to perfume bottles. I'm hoping they can help me realise my plan. Have I got a brief for you? I want something a bit different that's really beautiful, that's really stylish. OK. okay. Well, it should be a problem, and I think we can deliver some great concepts for you. Oh, that's just the answer I wanted. <laughs> We spent the first hour or so sketching through some rough ideas before Jules refined some of our favourites, drawing neater sketches of a whole range of concepts. The shape of the camera used to be dictated by the need to fit the film in. These days, with memory cards and hard drives, there's no reason other than tradition for the box shape, something we steered well away from by incorporating some great new technologies. It could sit onto a wireless charging pad. Everything would just be a touchscreen interface. You could get home and, and project onto the screen and then everyone could view. A screen is flexible and rolls up. It'd be a very simple, Cylindrical. almost like cosmetic type 
shape, whether we go with something it's like this. It's a very interesting, it's an interesting concept. concept. We narrowed down the ideas till we had the technologies that would work with the look I wanted. What I'd like to do is to combine this with this. I combined a wireless charging pad that conducts power without wires, a flexible fold-out OLED touchscreen and a miniature projector. Incredibly, by 2009, projectors will be incorporated into mobile phones to project onto a 60-inch screen. I wanted to be ahead of the game. <laughs> OK, well, we'll put all of this together for you uh, and generate an, uh, a concept that sort of embodies everything that you want that to be. OK. And, uh, and then we'll take it from there. Meanwhile, I'd called on some help too. Sit down, shall I show you what I've been working on? Yeah. You're not going to take the mickey out of me, are you? Uh, I'll try not to. All right, OK. It's one stage up from stick men. Rod's an industrial product design student at Derby University, and he helped me thrash out some ideas. That's the concept, a wearable USB device. There are wearable USB um, memory sticks already on the market, like these bracelets, but whether you want to wear them or not is another matter. You wouldn't want to wear that, would you? I mean, it's silly. It's not very cool. No, it's not cool at all. So, the memory stick badge that I was planning to make needed to be both functional and attractive so people would want to wear it. We went for a character-based design for our USB badge, something that would appeal to kids, something they could swap and trade. That's sort of culture. Yeah, like that. Exactly. That's exactly it. Rod then went away and built up a prototype for me in record time. He took a children's toy, pulled it apart, and then built a housing for the USB electronics to go inside. Rod's done a great job. This is exactly what we talked about. The only problem is you can only get so far with things that already exist. I was happy with the concept, but I needed to refine the design further. We needed to make the badge from scratch, so it was, well, sort of badge-shaped. For that, I called in a model maker. Meanwhile, the guys at Coventa had sent me a proof copy of the camera concept to check over. With my blessing, they were able to create a final 3D design. Now we were both ready to produce our prototypes. My model maker was Mike, a vinyl modeler who makes exactly the kind of things I wanted from scratch. He modeled the design out of putty and then made a cast to house the USB. My designs were sent to Oto, a company who build concepts for the likes of Sony. They worked out the best way to build the actual product, working out how all the parts would fit together. Once done, those measurements were fed into a computer which controlled some hefty machines. Finally, it was all coming together for both of us. It had been a long, hard process. All the guys worked into the night, but it was worth it. And here they are, <laughs> our finished gadgets that we've designed ourselves. So excited. And we're really pleased with them, the way they've turned out. Absolutely. Oh, I want to just grab that now and play with it, can I? No, no, you're not allowed to. Well, then I can't reveal my full range then oh, just I know. yet. They look really cute. Thank you. Yes. Hey, after the break, it's all going to get rather scary as uh, we submit our gadget creations to some thorough and brutal market research. Also, our industry professionals are going to decide once and for all which is the best. It's going to get personal, isn't it? Yes, I it think so. It could be some tears. See you after the break. <laughs>